And how much of an impact do you think the changes to the stage three tax cuts are going to be? Because there's the, the moral side and the financial side, isn't there? Generally, I think the stage three tax cuts have been accepted by voters. Some would be upset um, that they wouldn't be receiving as, as much as they had been promised. Others would be uh, pleased that they'd be receiving more than they thought they would be. But generally, I think this has provided an opportunity for the coalition, the opposition, to really hit the government hard um, and to question the government's capacity to deliver their promises. But I think that politically has been the most significant thing, that it's given the opportunity for the coalition to critique, to criticise the Labor parties and the Labor government's ability to maintain election promises. So it's a tight contest, but if we see a decent swing on either side, what are we looking for here? How crucial is this? This is a really important election. Um, looking at the numbers in the House of Representatives, the Labor Party currently holds 78 seats. If it loses this seat, it goes down to 77. Remembering we have a 151 seat chamber, so any party to be in government must have at least 76 seats. So it becomes, the, the uh, comfort margin in the House becomes really, really low. So for the Labor Party, the stakes are high. It's, it's also very um, important to remember that the stakes are high for the coalition as well. The uh, Peter Dutton Liberal Party has made a real point about campaigning in outer metropolitan electorates. This is going to be the test. If they are unable to attract voters in a seat like Dunkley, then many in the Liberal Party would start to be a bit nervous about their prospects of being able to win over marginal seats, um, electorates at the next general election, which of course can be held between August this year and May next year. So it is a high stakes game for both the Labor Party in government as well as the opposition. If Labor lose this, how much pressure is there on Anthony Albanese's role as Prime Minister? There will be growing uh, pressure on Albanese, definitely. Um, it is, of course, as a Prime Minister, he has um, the hopes of the Labor Party on his shoulders. And if he's unable to get support or to maintain support in a crucial seat like Dunkley, um, there will be growing pressure and some nerves within the Labor Party about their prospects of being able to hold on to government at the next general election. Well, I believe that uh, Labor, sorry, Liberal has to win 15,000 more votes to win. Is that correct? Well, they have to win a, a big chunk of those undecided voters. Mm. So they've got to they've got to increase their primary vote, um, which at the last election was pretty poor. It was just 32 and a half percent. So to have any chance of winning this seat, it must go up by at least eight to ten points, which is a significant chunk of voters. Dr Zara Gazarian, Monash University Senior Lecturer, thank you as always for your time and expertise. A big day ahead. It will be interesting to see the outcome. Thanks we'll have so you on much, again Andy. soon. Thank you.